Hey guys, real quick before this video starts, I just want to say that just like last week, the app I usually use to upload videos has not been working. It's been pausing midway through, so I'm just deciding to film it off of my phone so I could gift you guys, so please just overlook the bad quality because that is the reason why. And I still hope you have an amazing time watching my video, and I'm going to try and find another thing to upload with because it's been doing it for two weeks in a row now, so I want to try and find something else. So, uh, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this little part of the video. Now, time to, to enjoy the main video. It's the day before Christmas Eve. But just like Charlie Brown and It's a Charlie Brown Christmas, I'm not happy. I used to love Christmas. But then Santa always disappointed me and never gave me the gift I wanted. And I'm kind of disappointed because yesterday was Christmas. Okay, here I go. Probably just a harmless prank. I don't know if you could see, but I don't see any presents. No, it's not in here. What? Didn't get any presents? That means Santa's didn't arrive for Christmas. All right, it's Christmas morning. I can't wait to see what I got. Is this just... It... Did I just get coal? He only gave me coal this year. What did I do to, to deserve this? Which is why I've decided to take matters into my own hands. This year I will get the gift I want because this year I'm going to the North Pole and I'm going to pretend to be Santa so I can make myself my own gift. Ten gazillion years later... So we just arrived in the North Pole. I did indeed remember how cold it was from last year. I am shivering. Um, so yeah, with that being said, uh, I, I have all my sunscreen in the bag because, you know, you never know with the North Pole. And uh, now with that being said, I'm just about to put on my reading glass. Reading glass. It's hard to put on with one hand. My reading glasses. So when the elves see me, they'll be shook. Yo, what up, haters? So right now I'm in the North Pole looking for Santa Claus. Can't seem to find him. He's probably hiding from me because he knows I'm coming. Ugh. So anyways, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say to Santa, Hey, why don't we play a game of hide and seek? So then once he, I'll be supposedly looking for him, or at least that's what he'll think, I'll get into my Santa uniform and trick the elf into thinking I'm Santa Claus. Look, it's a brilliant plan and it will 100% not, not backfire. So, the only problem left, where is Santa Claus? Yo, what up, haters? So right now, I'm looking for some of my elves. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hey, um, kid, do you think that maybe you could take off your sunglasses? You know, there can't be two people in the North Pole with their sunglasses on. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, thank you. Now let me take off my sunglasses so I can see uh, who you are. Well, well, Blake? Santa. Is it really you? Yeah, and what are you doing here? Oh, Santa, it's so nice to see you as well. I see you haven't given up on the cookies. Yeah, and I see you still look like a string bean. Yes, yeah, Santa, and that's probably because I didn't go breaking into people's houses eating their cookies. Uh... Alright, look, Santa. Look, I know we've had a rough past couple of years, but the reason I actually came to the North Pole today was, well... I actually want to make a peace offering with you. A peace offering? Yes, Santa, peace offering. Watch it. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyways, yeah, I actually thought that since tomorrow's Christmas Eve, and I, we're both in the in the Christmas spirit right now, we could actually maybe try to be friends and start off by playing a game of hide and seek, and then go from there. Hide and seek, huh? Okay, okay. Here, who's going to hide and who's going to seek? You know what, Santa? I was actually thinking that maybe you could uh, hide first and then I'll go look for you. Really? So I'm going to be the one hiding first for hide and seek? Yeah, good for you, Santa. You deserve a Nobel Peace Prize, really. Thanks. All right, I'm going to go hide now. Yes, that's right, Santa. Go hide. You're doing Mrs. Claus a favor anyways. All right, now that Santa's gone, it's time to get into my Santa disguise. All right, guys, so right now it's me, Blake. I just broke into Santa's workshop 
So far, nobody's realizes anything different about Santa, so hopefully I can keep up the shredders. I, I can't find Santa's office, so I can't see where all the toys are made, so I can give me what I want. Santa, what are you doing awake? Um, okay, that's incredibly rude. I'm alive. No, I mean, what are you doing awake from your six-hour nap? Well, basically, you either just film a YouTube video or take a nap where we do all of your work for you. Well, that's a thing where I just take a six-hour nap and you just do everything else for me? Yeah, so what are you doing awake? Uh, what am I doing awake? Uh, oh, I'm telling you to give me some more milk and cookies and stop talking all the time, Bobby. My name's actually Melvin. I don't care, Bobby. Your, your name's Bobby. I, I own you. I decide that, that your name's Bobby. All right, so when I'm doing awake, I'm telling you to get back to work. All right, I see all the amount of slack you've been doing. You, all, you're all you literally standing talking to me right now, not doing any of the work. But I just finished a train set for a family of four. Good, now make another one, Bobby. Not everything's about you. No, I'm sorry. That was incorrect. Not anything's about you, Bobby. That is what I meant to say the first time. Oh. Okay. Wait, hold on. Being Santa, all I really get to do is take naps and boss people around. So being Santa really is halfway decent. A few hours later. Mr. Claus, it's time for your afternoon cookies and milk. Good, and I swear, if this time buys you one more oatmeal raisin, that'll be... Uh... Wait, you are fake! What? No, I... Okay, yeah, fine, I'm totally a fake, yeah. Yes, of course he's a fake! Santa, how did you find out my plan? Because you were supposedly looking for me for ten hours. If somebody was looking for me for ten hours, I'd just give up. Like, you should have given me a few clues, or at least come out to find me a few times and then give me another chance. Why would I hide for ten hours, whether it was a fake game or not? Oh, yeah. Probably would have been a good idea. Yeah, you tried to replace Santa on Christmas Eve. You're coming with me. No! Yes. No! Yes. No! Yes. No! Yes! No! All right, look, I didn't want that to have to come to this, but the only way you'll calm down is if I throw this net at you that I randomly just carry around with me. All right, I don't want to do this, but ugh. <laughs> Take him away. Yes, sir. No. No! No. No. So now I'm, I'm in jail for Christmas? Now I'll never get the gift I wanted. Oh, yeah, and I'm also in jail now for a long time. I guess that part's also a downer. To be continued. Hey guys, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this week's new video. To see the previous video, then watch, then watch Riley's Hanukkah gift. And to see bloopers and behind the scenes, wait a few minutes. And to see last year's Christmas video, then watch Santa's Elves. I, got to, I love you guys so, so, so much. Make sure you come back next week for part two of our Christmas special. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Now, I just love how Santa always is talking about the Christmas spirit, yet he would throw me in prison on Christmas Eve. Just saying.